Here we're looking at a book from the Younger Readers category, Owen and the Soldier, written by Lisa Thompson and published by Barrington Stoke. Hello, my name's Lisa Thompson and I'm the author of Owen and the Soldier. I'm absolutely thrilled to be nominated for the Children's Book Award this year. Um, this is actually my third year of being nominated, so I'm incredibly excited. I know what a very, very special award that this is. This is an award I know that where children make decisions. I think it's one of the only awards in the country where children decide on the books from the very, very start to the very end. And that's what makes this incredibly special. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the book. This is about a boy called Owen who is having quite a lot of trouble at home. Him and his mum are having some bad times. And when Owen walks to school, he walks through a town park which has a war memorial garden. And in the garden, Owen spots a stone soldier. And one day he sits next to the soldier and starts to talk to him. And the soldier becomes almost like a friend. He becomes somebody that Owen can tell his problems to. But then the town council decide that they want to change the War Memorial Garden and rip out the stone soldier. So then Owen has to do something quite brave to try and save his friend. So I'm incredibly grateful to be nominated and I'm really excited to be able to see the children's and the readers' portfolios on the book. I know because I've been lucky enough to be nominated previously that we get presented with a wonderful collection of artwork and reviews and thoughts on the books. And I'm really looking forward to finding out what everybody thinks about Owen and his story with the Stone Soldier. Lastly, I'd like to give a big thank you to the Federation of Children book, Children's Book Groups who have been so supportive of me and my writing and my books over the last few years. Thank you. Hi, I'm Malik and I'm 10 years old. I'm, I'm going to be talking about Owen and the Soldier, which is by Lisa Thompson. I like the part where Owen gets his courage back to make a speech about how the soldier should stay in the park. I found and comfort in the way Owen speaks freely to the soldier about everything that's happening to him and the ways he tries to make the soldier happy. I can relate to this book because it's just like me. Owen stutters a lot. He hasn't got confidence, confidence to speak up in class like me. Every author and illustrator on the shortlist receives a personalised album of responses by children to the book. If you have loved this book, then why not draw a picture or write something about it and send it to us? All the details are on our website, fcbg.org.uk. And don't forget to tune in for our ceremony at 2pm on Saturday the 10th of October to find out who won. Don't worry if you miss it. It'll be available to watch on our website afterwards.